I want a Sina Panamadol Beauty. So the Lipstick Addict tag, I believe it is, uh, Kat from Kit Snitch and Talia from Glossy Confidential did this. I'll link the post down below so you can check out their channels. I'm sure you've already seen it. This sort of was inspired too by the fact that I reorganize a lot of my sort of lip products. So I'll we'll put a picture in here somewhere what I've done with it. And if you do want to see an updated actual collection, I've done an organization one, but I haven't done the actual collection. Let me know. Anyway, you'll probably hear my husband in the background. He's watching QI and he's still a little sick, as you can probably tell, but hopefully you can hear me because I really wanted to catch the little bit of natural light we've got left today. Anyway, there's eight questions and I will put them down below if you want to do it. Um, even if you don't do YouTube videos, just you know, put some um, comments in the section down below. Anyway, first question. Your favorite balm or treatment? I'm actually going to split this into a low and a high end one. My favorite lip treatment uh, for overnight shouldn't be any surprise, um, and it's the Sukin Nourishing Lip Treatment. This one I've loved for years, it's about $7.99 retail, but always try and get it when it's 20 to 30% off. Um, and this is great for <coughs> night time. It's just a clear sort of balm, like an ointment type consistency. And uh, if you are international, I, mean, I get this at Priceline or Selected Pharmacies, where is there, just clear. You can pick this up online at Chemist Warehouse and they actually ship worldwide. So I, I check out the prices on Chemist Warehouse, they're actually pretty good, or Amazon. Anyway, that's the night. Um, and for daytime, the one that I probably love or reach for the most is actually this one, if I'm sort of going out. It's the Mecca, from Mecca Cosmetica. It's the Lip De Luscious Hydrating Lip Protectant. And it's actually their own brand. <laughs> I love it because it's an SPF 25. So if I'm sort of going out and I'm sort of going to be out walking around, this is the one I like. And I can wear this under lipsticks on the gloss. Um, it doesn't really give much of a color payoff. It's, it looks sort of quite rosy, but it's just pretty much clear. Just a slight sort of natural pink tint to the lips, but I really, really love it. Slight, I suppose, I don't know if it's in my mind, slight rosy sort of scent to it, but I really love it. It's not sticky, it's not tacky. I just, I, I've loved it for so long, probably the last couple of years. Um, this is my second tub, but it's actually now out in a very sexy sort of looking um, thing. This is great for bags, it's just plastic, but the new one's actually frosted glass, same sort of size, but yeah, it's a little bit heavier being the frosted glass, and it's also this beautiful black glossy lid. What I'll do is I'll insert a photo here, because uh, I want to get um, a backup for it. And it's 28 AU though, as opposed to say, what, well, $8. But like I said, you can always get this one. Sale if you keep your peepers out. So those are the two that I love. I'll be talking about two other ones in the last question. Okay, second question. Is best eye-catching red? reds? Uh, would have to be probably these two that I switch up between from Lipstick Queen. The first one is Jean Queen. And it's just such a cute blue metallic tube, like that denim blue. And look at this, it's that beautiful pinky red. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's a little bit pricey. I can't remember, is it 26 AU? Or well, it could be more than that, maybe 29 AU or something like this. But I'll put a link down below. I did a post on the Lipstick Queen products that I have. But that's that there. Oh, there, that's a bit better. But it's that nice sort of natural pinky rose that people sort of have to the lips. I like that. So it's not too intense. It's not that really intense bright red. Nothing like this, but um, it's just nice. And it's actually very nourishing on the lips, which is what I love. So I'll wear this. It's pretty sheer though, for the most part. Um, and the other one I switch up between is this one. It's called Medieval. It's actually a lip balm. Beautiful sort of uh, rougey color tube. And yeah, but it's a, it's a proper balm. So if I want to sort of want a tinted balm for the day, it's that one. It's pretty similar, but I'd say this one's a little bit more blue tone, a little bit more sort of burgundy red, and the other one's more of your pinky red. Next thing, number three, best luxury uh, versus drugstore. So definitely my best luxury lipstick brand is that one, which is Lipstick Queen. I really go for overall the Saint range. Again, I'll link that video down below. The Saint range comes in the gold sort of matte tube. Oh, it's like a metallic tube, but sort of like, it's not a glossy tube, and I think they're just so cute, the packaging. It's a little sort of, um, and the three that I absolutely love stand out, I've got it, probably got about 10 of them, but the three standout ones, uh, first one is Saint Pink. They're actually fairly similar. Um, and the Saint range is actually uh, 
relatively sheer. They have, uh, I think, about 10% pigmentation versus the black tube ones, which are the thinner range, and they're, I think, about 90% pigmentation. They're basically more opaque. So this is Saint Pink. That sort of blue tone pink, very pretty. And I love how sort of hydrating they are on the lips. The next one is Saint Bear Nude. I actually have two of these. One in my bag and one that I keep on my vanity. And that's, what did I just say, Saint Bear Nude. Beautiful pinky nude. And that's gorgeous. I think that would complement a lot of sort of people. If you don't want to go that really sort of almost deathly pale fleshy tone, this one's quite nice. It gives it like a little bit of colour. And the next one, Saint Bear Nude, is another good one, I think. Because um, they're all basically pink nudes. And this is probably the best one, I think, out of the, the lot as a nude. Um, so Saint Bear Nude. A really nice colour. And like I said, very hydrating. So there's that one, and I think they retail for about 26 AU versus what I call drugstore. <sighs> this is sort of a thing because. A lot of people would probably say Revlon is a drugstore brand, which it is. You can get it in a lot of different department stores and pharmacies and the like. Price lines set like in Australia, but our prices here are fairly high for a drugstore brand. Like this retails for about twenty one ninety five versus probably what I don't know about ten dollars or eleven dollars overseas. But I honestly always get them on special. I pay probably around about generally ten dollars for most of them, and I've got almost most of the ones that are out. Um, and these are the Revlon, sorry, the Revlon lip butters, hello. Um, or buy them in, I recommend if you can see them in packs, like normally around different holiday seasons, they have them in packs, and you can get two or three free. And this is Pink Truffle 001, it's my favorite, that beautiful mauvey pink. And it's fairly similar to some of the other tones that I have, you can see there, and it's a nice sheer consistency. That's what I love about them, they're very buttery, sheer, not drying. And, they, and the colour lasts as well, it's very nice. So that's probably my, sort of my mainstream, readily available sort of drugstore brand is that one. Um, whereas the other one that I would say is definitely my top, because it's a very sort of great price point. But I, I think getting it might be a little bit hard for some people. Essence Cosmetics, it's been in Australia a couple of years now, in selected targets and selected price line stores, and it's Essence Cosmetics. So this is the, I think, the older tube, which were the different, the colours of the tubes match the lipsticks, and they're about $3.95 thereabouts, so under $4. The new ones I've seen with the beautiful black packaging, which I think is really good. It does, they don't look cheap, they look like quality, and they have a great quality for the price point. My favourite one is number 07 Natural Beauty. Again, it's a rosy pink, more of a blue tone pink, beautiful, very creamy, relatively sheer, but it's like a sheer, very creamy velvety finish and I think absolutely fantastic price point if you can get it. So I mean this would probably be my standout sort of lower end brand for best MAC. Mm. My best MAC one was um, I think it was syrup but I don't have it anymore because I yet yeah, got rid of the tube but it, um, I, like, I used it all up. It's the only MAC lipstick I've ever used right to the very end. Um, but my favourite one now, and it's very similar to it in colour, uh, and it's only new. This is the from the MAC Alluring Aquatic Collection, which I'll link down below. This is in Mystical, and it's a cream sheen. It's a beautiful rose colour. A beautiful pigmentation, so there it is there, gorgeous. It's like a rose winey sort of pink. Now, number five, the most disappointing. This may surprise some people. I'll put a link, links down below to the the um, videos I've talked about Hourglass products. Generally, I love Hourglass products, and honestly, one of their lip products, which is the Femme Nude, um, these are the Lip Stylo ones, that this is Femme Nude number six. I love it. I've done a separate post just on this one, which I'll link down below. So I, I love this one, but I'm just gonna show you now. But the actual lipsticks. I said it right, I always normally say lipstick. I'm going to be conscious and say lipsticks, but these. Now the price point I'll put here, which I think is slightly ridiculous for a lipstick. They are gorgeous though, they're beautiful, that brown, metallic finish, quite heavy. These are probably the heaviest tubes that I've ever had because they're slightly magnetic. So they're not ones you'd really carry around in your bag, but they look fantastic on the vanity. 
but I just don't reach for them um, because they just seem a little bit dry. Now that I've had them longer, so I showed them in a haul, I sort of talked about them, but I didn't really, hadn't had them long enough to really get a good feel for them. And I, honestly, I reach for my $3 Essence ones more than I reach for these. And this is number, no, this is Whisper. So Femme Rouge lipstick and a Whisper. Gorgeous color, but same sort of, sort of those nerdy pinks I love. But like I said, it's, the quality is slightly better in the essence and um, even in Lipstick Queen, which is half the price of this, I think it's just better quality. Then there is Addition, again a lovely colour and this has a bit of a gold shimmer to it. I'm running out of room. This is beautiful pink, nice sort of sheer colour. But again, I think in comparison to my other sort of sheer lip lips like Lipstick Queen, this can be a little bit sort of drying um, and it sort of starts to, as you wear it during the day, it sort of wears it fairly quickly but it starts to sort of show up any sort of imperfections. Like I always try and exfoliate and, you know, put lip balms on in the morning and keep my lips hydrated but it just, it just doesn't have or doesn't stand up to my much cheaper lipsticks. So that's what's disappointing. They still look great. I still use them, reach for them but just honestly, you know, just about probably about 5% um, of the time, whereas the other ones I'm always going for, and the other ones I can just happily carry in my bag. Because those are weighty. Number six, liner. Yes, I do wear liner, but not very often. It's number seven, best gloss. If you've watched me from the beginning um, of doing videos, this one I mentioned year after year um, for a good two to three years, but it's just that I haven't gotten it recently. This I've just had because I've been wanting to do this. This tag, this is the Lancome Color Fever Gloss 308 in Mo Fiesta, I think it is. And I just love the, I love everything about it. I love the tube, I love the finish of it. It's not sticky, it's not tacky, it's like a thick, creamy gloss, nice and opaque. I love the size of the applicator, it's not too long. I love the nice pliable doe foot, I like the shape of it, and obviously, most of all, the color. Hope we've got enough left. It's not highly pigmented, it's more like a sort of sheer cream though, but it is nice, you can build it up. But it's that beautiful, perfect mauve colour. And I swear I have tried to find a dupe for this. If someone does know, let me know. I'm not sure if they've taken the price down because I haven't honestly gotten one in quite a while. Because I've been really enjoying my Essence glosses. I'll put a photo here. I really love the XXXL um, long lasting Essence Cosmetics glosses, and they're only like $3.25 up to $4.10 so I mean hello versus this hello I can get like 10 for the price one so um, and number eight something a little bit extra I'll just go very quickly because I know oh, this is probably going to be too long um, so I was talking about this one I love the Mecca Cosmetica Lip Delicious I thought it might be a little bit similar to this one I just got my Sephora haul which I'll link down below this is the Christian Dior Cream de Rose one but it's just slightly different this is quite light and as you can see the colour. So this is a little bit more colour payoff. It's not a lot, but it just looks like a natural finish. And then there's this one. I think it's supposed to be lip plumping. But I haven't noticed it, but they're both pretty much honestly similar. Like I swear the feel of them are very similar. This does have a really nice slight rose tint. This has sort of lost its scent over time. As you can see though, it's been well used. But I honestly, this feels a bit, this feels a little bit more as a glossy sort of thing and it has the SPF 25 which I think is great for the day. Um, so this is still good, this is a lovely thing, I've been reaching for it, but this stays on the lips a little bit longer, I've noticed. Honestly this stays on a little bit longer, I can put this on where I'm eating or something like that, it'll still be a little bit there. This I'll put it on and it's, it maybe it does soak in, I'm not sure, but honestly they make my lips feel smooth, both of them do. But I just haven't noticed the lip plumping with this one. Like I said, this has that great SPF 25, a great finish and everything to it. It's just that the new the new um, packaging looks great and sexy, but it's not as friendly for the per, uh, for your handbag as the old style was. And this is obviously, I think, much more great for carrying around during the day if you want to, because look at that, it's quite light. And it looks good, but I'll reuse the packaging for either one. But this is 20, gosh, was it 28 AU? I think it is. This is 27 USD, so this is much cheaper, but I think just a similar quality to this, that's my opinion. Um, and if you, like I said, check out the new glass tub. If you're happy just to leave it at home, it rivals this hands down, I think, slightly better than this. But this is my hands down absolute favorite decadent sort of um, balm gloss treatment. I have tried the original one, which doesn't have the rose gold flakes in it. 
Um, I probably prefer this. It's sort of similar to these ones, but I think it's slightly glossier and a little bit better, but it's much pricier. The um, By Terry, this is the Eau de Rose, but this has got the 24 karat rose gold in it. Beautiful sort of glass, sort of tub. Not too heavy though. Looks great, looks great on the vanity if you're that sort of person about, you know, packaging. But it looks stunning. You can wear this as a, like a very pale, pinky, shimmery gloss during the day. You can mix it with your glosses. Don't mix the um, applicator in here though. Um, or um, put it over the top of your matte lipsticks if you want that shimmer. So it's very versatile, which is what I like about it. So I think it's worth the money. Um, and it smells like Turkish Delight. So if you like Turkish Delight, I don't know if that will show up. No. Okay, what I'll do is I'll blot off what I've got on and then I'll put it on. Hopefully it will show up. It's always hard sometimes in the in the light. Can you see that? Obviously that's a lot to put on but I just want to show you. Can you see? Mm -hmm. So it's one wonderful, like something even like a cream sheen. You can put it on, blot it a little bit, put this over it, even if you're more creamier, quite drying lip steps, it's great over it or even under it. Just don't obviously mix the tube and all that sort of stuff together, but it looks great. So it's a very versatile sort of product. And it gives us like sort of pinky mauvey tinge to it, if you like that, if you're sort of just wearing it pretty much on its own or over the top of other colours, it looks really nice. So it's got that rose gold tint to it, so hopefully that does show up. So I think that's... That is good because it's very versatile, whereas the other ones are just plain. Um, so this is great to do under, over. The only thing that I must admit though is um, a couple of times I've worn it to bed trying to be decadent going to bed, but then you wake up in the morning with little sparkle all over your pillow, all over your face, and you have to try and deep cleanse your face to get the sparkles off because they really do stay. So if you don't want it smearing everywhere, just sort of wear it during the day or, um, yeah. Um, but it is really nice and it smells divine and gloss or go for the original one if you prefer that. Um, like I said, out of these two, I'd probably go more for this because it's cheaper. The new packaging is just so sexy. Um, and yeah, you've got the lip protection to it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to all of your responses. And I'll, if you've already done the post, link it down below. Thank you.